Right then guys, just got to the gym. I'm gonna try and do a, a bit of a voiceover for what I'm doing. I'm gonna be doing a push day today, so a bit of chest, a bit of shoulders, a bit of triceps. Um, hopefully, you enjoy the video. Once again, if you, uh, if you wanna see anything different, if you have got any tips for me, please write in the comments below, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Right then guys, I thought I'd do a bit of a voiceover to try and explain what I'm doing in today's session. Um, it's a push day, so I'm starting off on the flat bench. I'm trying to incorporate um, some 5x5 five five work, which is 5 sets of 5 reps. The first set I do only manage to achieve 4 reps, and I think on the 3rd or 4th set I only manage to get out 4 as well. What I then do is on the 5th set I drop it down, usually by about 40 to 60%, and then just try and get some high volume, a lot of reps out, just to try and um, get that blood pumping into the, uh, into the muscles. The reason I'm doing this is one thing that's really lagging, um, in my opinion, strength-wise, is my chest. Um, my bench press probably isn't where it should be. So at the minute, I really am trying to focus on technique and form, as well as trying to lift a little bit heavier. Um, one thing I really want to work on is arching my back and transitioning the power from my back, really getting that power to push the weight upwards. And one thing that's one thing I personally think I'm lagging in. So I'm really going to try and focus on that in the coming videos. I'm going to be showing some works that, that I do with bands, etc. to try and get that power up. Right, what I'm doing here, as you can see, I'm just taking off the weights. Um, I think I'm loading it up to about 60 kilos, and I do try and get between 15 and 20 reps out of this. So it will be holding the tension, so it's not full locking your arms out. I'm holding the tension, and that is really going to put a lot of stress on the, uh, on the chest. Right, the next move is going to be a standing military press or overhead press. Um, I do three sets on 60 kilos. I think I, could, I think I'll get around about six reps out on some of them. I think I'll get it on the first and the third. Um, and then on the fourth set, I load it up with 40, so I drop the weight down to 40 kilos and try and get between 10 to 20 reps out. Um, really good form and just trying to keep that time under tension. After that, I will then move on to some lat raises. But before I talk about that, I'll just give you a quick rundown on the iPhone 7 that I purchased today. Give you the quick pros and cons for the phone. So the pros to start off with is the screen and the look of the phone itself. It looks really nice. Just whatever you do, don't get the jet black. I picked one up in the store, it had fingerprints all over it, and it was scratched to hell already. So yeah, I'd say that is definitely one to avoid. The, uh, the cons is the touch button, which is now like a vibrating uh, sort of home button now, um, which is a bit reminiscent of the old um, iPod with the little wheel. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's worth a buy. If you're still on a contract or you think or you think I'm upgrading, I'd probably wait until next year when you're going to see hopefully a big iPhone update just for the fact that it's its 10 year anniversary. Right. So back on here you'll see me doing some lateral raises. I'm using 10 kilos, uh, sorry, 15 kilos, and then I drop down to 10 or 7.5 if I'm fatiguing. For me, the lateral raise is a really important move for shoulder development. So as you can see, I try and incorporate a lot of drop sets into the lateral raises or frontal raises I do. So hence why you can see a drop set from, 10, from 15 kilos to 10 or 7.5 if I'm fatiguing. 
The next move you'll see me do is a I do a frontal plate raise. Um, I think I'm using 15 kilos, and I'll try and get between 10 to 12 reps out. Um, on this, what I'm incorporating is a, a very, very short rest period. So I'll do 10 to 15 reps. I'll pause and rest for 30 seconds, very strict on this, and I'll go again, and I'll do that three times over. So the type of training I'm doing at the minute is pull, push legs, pull, push legs. This enables me to hit all parts of my body twice a week. Uh, on some of the days, if I'm not feeling um, too strong or if I'm feeling a little bit run down, what I'll do is more of a volume work So and focus quite a lot on the stretches as well. The next move you're going to see is a tricep pushdown. Um, it's a V-grip pushdown. Um, there are other variations. You can use a flat bar, you can use a reverse bar, but for this one I'll be using a V-grip um, bar. You can see that before I set myself up, I have so, I sort of soften my knees, I stick my ass out a little bit, and then I stick also stick my chest out. On this, I'm trying to focus on the tension on the tricep. So I'm not trying to, I'm not leaning forward, I'm not trying to incorporate any chest or any shoulders. I'm just trying to get that tension on the tricep. So I'll do four sets, and for this, I'll try and work out between 12 and 15 reps. So thank you very much for listening to the commentary guys if you like it please let me know in the comments if there is anything else you want to see or if there's something different you want me to do please let me know thanks again and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video don't you know you're taking me higher oh you know you're making me sweat don't you know you're taking me right then guys it's time to make some cherry bakewell protein muffins this one was asked for by a couple of guys in the comments of the last video so let's give this one a go so if i show you the uh, ingredients so we have we have our pea isolate so we have 40 grams of that we have almond extract cherries this weird looking thing here is um 100 grams of bananas or a medium banana mushed up we have one whole egg and 30 grams of egg whites which is basically another egg just the egg whites stevia coconut flour almond butter ground almonds baking powder there are two more other ingredients so we have got uh, greek yogurt to use and we've also got quark to use in this one so i'll pop this over here Right then, let's get ready to bake. So first of all, we will have uh, 100 grams of coconut flour. Pull that in. Make sure it's on grams. Brilliant. Next we'll add the whole egg and the 30 grams of egg white protein powder, 50 grams of almond milk, like I said before you can use soy milk or any other type of milk if you choose. I am doing it all in grams today not milliliters just because it might be a little bit easier for people just to uh, jot down the recipe. Add in the chopped banana. That should give a little bit of moisture to the muffins. Just a little bit of almond extract. If we use, I'm going to use 20 grams of powdered almonds or ground almonds. And then for a bit of sweetening, a tablespoon and a half of stevia. Is it good? We will add in 50 grams Quark. Quark is basically a low fat soft cheese which is very high in protein. 
50 grams of quark. And we'll also use 50 grams of the Greek yogurt. Right, so if we mix this round, and I'll show you what the consistency consistency sorry should look like after I mix this up. Right, the mixture should be light and fluffy now. It's not going to be a runny mixture. It should be basically, if I show you, easy enough to mould with your hands without getting anything on them. I have added a little bit of extra almond milk just to stick it together. What I'm going to do now is just add in a few chopped cherries. Right, what I'm going to do now is I have placed a tray with some muffin cases in there, just six. We're now going to separate the mixture into these trays. Brilliant, what we're gonna do now guys, we'll pop them into the oven for around about 12 to 15 minutes or until you can put a skewer through the middle and it comes out dry, not undercooked. Close that and I'll see you in 15 minutes. I'm going to leave these to cool down for about 10 minutes. Right, they've been sitting for around 10 minutes now. So it's time to add the finishing touch. All I've done here is add a little bit of um, almond milk to a little bit of icing sugar. So I don't want tons, obviously, because it is just plain sugar. Now, it wouldn't be a cherry bake well without, literally, a cherry on top. So there we have it guys. Protein cherry bakewell muffins. Thanks again for watching guys. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, write in the comments if there's anything else that you want me to cook. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Give me that sunshine in the dark.